Do you remember the fifth of November? Remember? <laughs> Welcome back to a cup of tea with Lulu. Welcome to this video podcast episode. You will be able to see this on YouTube. You will be able to see my very expressive faces. If you don't want to see my very expressive faces, you just can go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify or Amazon Music and listen to this podcast. All right. What are we going to be talking about today? Very interesting. We're going to be talking about culture. We're going to be talking about uh, tradition. We're going to be talking about history. And yeah. As the title of this episode says, we're going to talk about the gunpowder plot. Gunpowder night, also called bonfire night, fireworks night, or Guy Fawkes night. Okay, so this is on the 5th of November, today is 3rd of November. So I thought that it was perfect episode and I love history. So yes, let's talk about history. Uh, I'm going to give you a bit. Uh, I'm going to give you a very brief definition of what gunpowder plot or what gunpowder night is. What is this celebration? What is all, what's all this about? And after that, I'm going. I, I, I mainly want to give you a, a bit of a background. I want to talk about the origin of this plot. Okay, why? Did this happen originally? Okay, let's get started. Okay, so it all begins on the 5th of November of 1605. It truly had begun before, okay? But this was the night that this happened. 5th of November of 1605, during the reign of James I, okay? So a group of Catholics, conspirators and decided to blow up the Houses of Parliament with gunpowder. Um, this group of conspirators was led by Robert Catsby. Uh, no Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes was the person who was caught in the act, okay, uh, with the gunpowder. But the leader of, the, of this uh, uh, group of uh, conspirators was Robert Catsby. And they wanted to blow up the Houses of Parliament because at this moment, uh, England was Protestant and this group of people wanted, wanted England to be Catholic again. Catholics at this point were being persecuted and fined and tortured and executed and they were tired and they said, we're going to blow up Parliament and get Catholicism back. This, as you can imagine, didn't work. <laughs> I don't know, Robert Catsby, but this wasn't a great idea, was it? You should have thought about this a little bit better, you know, mate? I mean, what were you going to do afterwards? Okay, so you blow up Houses of Parliament, and then what? <laughs> What's your plan? It's not brilliant. You know, actually, there's a movie, right? Then we have V of Vendetta. V of Vendetta, I think it is. Um, this movie is based on these events. Okay, surely you've seen it. I've watched it when I was at university and I thought it was awful. But anyway, <laughs> I didn't like it. Um, right, uh, so that was the plan. It didn't work because there was a leakage of information. So someone leaked information. There was an anonymous letter saying, hey, they are plotting against the king and they want to blow up the houses of parliament. Mate. I didn't say that. Get the anger out of there. Yeah, you know, or you are going to die. And they caught uh, Guy Fawkes in the cellar of the Houses of Parliament with the gunpowder. So he was captured. The other conspirators were also captured. 
they were tortured and they were executed. That's the end. Okay, that's what happened, you know. Um, right, okay. So, this was a betrayal. One of the members. Uh, uh, it, uh, I, I think it's not sure who, who leaked the information. But it, it, it is thought that it was one of the members of the conspiracy. So they, he betrayed the other conspirators. Anyway, why did this happen? What is the origin of all this? Because they, these people didn't wake up one day and listen, they said, oh, let, let's blow up the houses of parliament. No. Okay, so we need to go back a little bit in time. Okay, we're going to talk about the fathers of these people. Okay, uh, but before that, as I said, it is important to keep in mind that at this, uh, at this time, uh, there was a huge movement of anti-Catholicism. Catholics were being persecuted, Catholics were being tortured, Catholics were being executed. If you, if you helped a Catholic, you were going to be punished. If you didn't go to Mass on Sunday, you were going to be punished. If you had a priest in your house, you were going to be punished. So uh, it, was a, it was a harshly persecution of Catholics. Um, so... Protestantism was the official religion. The Queen, El Queen Elizabeth I was the supreme governor of the church, okay? Not the Pope anymore, okay? With Catholicism, is the Pope, the head of the church. Not anymore, now is the Queen. And you have to be loyal to the Queen. And if you are loyal to the Queen, means that you are loyal to her faith too, which is protestantism so a lot of people in united kingdom had this moral debate so i am a catholic i want to be loyal to my queen but i also want to be loyal to the pope i also want to be loyal to uh, my faith um so the, this was the situation right so the story begins with the fathers, some of the fathers of the conspirators of the gunpowder plot. So especially the father of Robert Catesby, the Vox family and the Tresham family. So these fathers um, were captured and they were imprisoned because uh, for harboring Edmund Campion. Now Edmund Campion was a priest um, he had converted people to Catholicism, so he was uh, being persecuted. Eventually, they found him, they captured him, and he was executed. He was a martyr. He is a martyr, I think. And so they tried to hide Edmund Campion, and they were caught, and yeah, they were punished. So... What you get with the second generations, the son of these fathers, which which were some of the members of this gunpowder plot, they have a sense of frustration. So they have seen their fathers broken by imprisonment, broken by fines. Um, they have seen their fathers try to be loyal to the queen, but also try to be loyal to to the pope. Um, so they wanted to do something. They wanted to change this. They were tired of this persecution and they wanted to, cha to change things. And they thought that after the death of Queen Elizabeth I, the answer might be in James I, who was the heir to the throne. And James I, they, they thought that he could be the answer but because they thought that he was going to be more tolerant towards Catholics because James I was the son of Mary, Queen of Scots. And Mary, Queen, Queen of Scots, was very, very, very Catholic. So they said, OK, he, he might be a bit more tolerant, even though I think the, the, educa the religious education of James I was Protestant. But they thought that he would be more tolerant and that he would soften up the rules 
a little bit. Actually, one of them went in person to Scotland to talk to him. And it looked promising. Uh, it looked that, yeah, that he, he was going to change some things, but they were wrong. Nothing changed. Everything was the same. And they were tired. And uh, so they said, oh, we have tried everything. We are tired. We've tried to... I don't know what else they tried, but <laughs> they said, we have tried everything, you know. It is what it is. And so uh, a group of conspirators, original, originally there were five, okay? Afterwards, they got more um, people in the... Uh, in the group, in the team, uh, because they needed investors, you know, they needed money for this conspiracy. And so they got more people. But originally there were uh, Robert Ketsby, Thomas Winter, Thomas Percy, John Wright, and Guy Fawkes. Okay. The leader, remember, was Robert Ketsby. Okay. So they targeted the Houses of Parliament. Why the Houses of Parliament? Because it was a symbol of power. And they said, yeah, we kill the king. And not just the king, but we also kill members of parliament, um, bishops, house of lords, lords, judges. We get rid of everything. And also we get rid of records get rid of rules and regulations and laws so what do you do when you get rid of the records and laws of a country i don't know honestly i don't think it was really a brilliant plan but anyway anyway this didn't work guy fox was caught because there was a leakage of information so there was an anonymous letter uh, which is called the montego letter so someone sent a letter to lord montego who was a catholic and this letter warned him not to attend uh, the state opening day which was the 5th of november of 1605 and i'm going to read the letter okay so so yeah after the letter uh, the so there was a search in the cellar of Parliament, and Guy Fawkes was found with a gunpowder and arrested. Okay, so here I'm going to read the letter. Okay, my lord, out of the love I have for some of your friends, I want to make sure you are safe. Because of this, I would advise you not to attend this sitting of Parliament because God and man have agreed to punish the wickedness of this time. Do not think this is a joke. Go to your estate in the country where you will be safe, because although there is no sign of any problem yet, this parliament shall receive a terrible blow. But they will not see who it is that hurts them. This advice should not be ignored as it, might, as it may do you some good and it can do you no harm because the danger will have passed as soon as you have burned this letter. I hope God grants you the grace to make good use of it and that he protects you. So now is the anonymous letter. Uh, there's a, I don't know, there's a lot of conspiracy also uh, around this letter I'm not sure ab about it it, six, it it exists because it's, it's, in, it's in some archives I don't know where it is but the letter exists and uh, yeah so they were discovered they caught Guy Fox with the gunpowder and they couldn't blow up parliament okay so what happened to Guy Fawkes and the other conspirators? Well, as I said, they were arrested and they were um, taken to the Tower of London where they were tortured 
and then they were yeah they were executed they were executed and this included hanging drawing and quartering it is a terrible death you can look for it on the internet not just that not just that that's not all so this included hanging drawing and quartering but after that the heads and other portions of the conspirators bodies were set up at different points around Westminster and London how's that you don't want to plot anymore do you you wouldn't feel like it yeah so this is what happened so nowadays um, we celebrate this I believe that we celebrate that houses of parliament uh, th that they didn't blow up the houses of parliament right uh, yeah, so we celebrate the failure of this <laughs> conspiracy uh, I suppose um, so I am not in the UK yet but I will be very soon um, what you get over this week is fireworks so when I was living there the previous days to the 5th of November, uh, there were fireworks every single night, a lot, in, ma in many places, almost in every city, they have fireworks um, to celebrate the gunpowder night and they, um, they get bonfires on this night. They have toffee, toffee apples, I don't know what they're called, but yeah. And they also burn effigies. They used to be or with the image of Guy Fawkes, uh, also the Pope. I once read that they burned an effigy of Trump. I have no idea about that. I don't know. I would have to look for it on the internet. I don't know. But anyway, I think this is really interesting and I hope that it was interesting for you too and that yeah i hope that you found it interesting i love history so to me is very very interesting i yeah i really enjoy this and i'm going to read the poem is this a poem no i'm not sure but the 5th of november gunpowder poem let's go Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Guy Fawkes, Guy Fawkes, t'was his intent to blow up the king and parliament. Through his core barrels of powder below, pour all England to overthrow. By God's providence, he was cut or by God's mercy, with a dark lantern and burning much. Holler boys, holler boys, let the bells ring. Holler boys, holler boys, God save the king. Thank you so much for listening. I love this episode. I don't know about you, but I truly enjoy talking about culture, British culture. And history and I hope to talk to you very very soon thank you for listening people toodaloo tada see you later alligator